News 8 at 5 starts now. This was an act of domestic terrorism. Someone with so much hate in their heart, so much hate in their head, uh, traveled from more than three hours uh, to get to this community. What are we supposed to do with all of this anger, with all of this pain? Heartbreaking. The white man, uh, a gunman, accused of ma massacring 10 black people in a racist rampage, planned to keep killing if he escaped the scene. Law enforcement say that they suspect the, the suspect rather wrote a 180-page racist statement and posted it online. He then traveled hours to a predominantly black neighborhood to carry out his crimes. Mike Valerio reports from Buffalo, New York. The suspected gunman from Saturday's mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, apparently had his sights set on taking even more lives than he did that afternoon, authorities say. There was evidence that was uncovered that he had plans had he gotten out of here to continue his rampage and, uh, and continue shooting people. He'd even spoken about possibly going to another store. The 18-year-old suspect shot 13 people, killing 10 of them at the Topps Friendly Market store before surrendering to police. But had he not turned himself in... If he got out of here, he was going to get in his car and continue to drive down Jefferson Avenue and continue doing the same thing. And the Erie County District Attorney laying out just how large the scope of evidence is. He lived with his parents, so looking at the car, there was evidence left at the crime scene in the manifesto. Everything he's done on social media, uh, we're drilling down on that. Authorities say the suspect traveled hours to target this predominantly black community. And the FBI is investigating the shooting as both a hate crime and a case of racially motivated violent extremism. These motives of this individual were based on hate, uh, based on a hatred of many types of people. Uh, it is uh, believed that he had a hatred for black people, uh, Jewish people, uh, people of color. In Buffalo, I'm Mike Valerio.